I, I think it's beautiful that, that, that I have you together because your characters for me, they have this energy, uh, special energy. Because when you jump in and in, in, in scene, everything change. Mm -hmm. And you are, for me, you are the conscious of everything that's going on. You are like this ghost narrator of everything. And I wonder, how was that conversation previously with Ryan to create this aura for your characters? Mm. Because you, you came, and, and it's suddenly they're, they look more positive, they look every, different. Mm -hmm. And you've been always there telling us, the audience, you are like my conscience inside the show. You know, I, I when we first talked about it, I, I was sent the first four episodes to read, and then I talked to Ryan, and he said, we're going to explore in an episode his Dominic Dunn's backstory mm -hmm. a bit and, and show why he became this passionate advocate for victims and, and how it, it changed his life uh, personally and professionally mm -hmm. because it led to the very first piece, uh, this trial of the, the man who murdered his daughter Dominique was led to the very first piece he wrote for Vanity Fair. Yeah, I mean, he's... Uh, it's the opposing point of view, mm -hmm. although he's also a writer. So he's, he looks at things and says, well, maybe this could have happened, or maybe that was the reason why. And, you know, on a personal level, he had been, he had been expelled from Hollywood for a long time. And then he came back as, uh, as a famous writer, a celebrity himself, which is really what he always hoped for. And the same people who had shunned him were now clamoring to get him to show up at their dinner parties and, and tell them whatever was going on in, yeah. in one of these, whether it was O.J. or this trial. So I think he reveled in that. And, um, but it was also, it was very serious about having lived through this, this, uh, this awful trial and, and what he learned about the justice system. And so that was the reason why he was so protective of the victims. Yeah. And, you know, the writing, uh, of the show was so wonderful. So as soon as I saw how they were introducing Leslie, and she's in an adoption agency, yeah. and she's talking about kids not getting the nurturing they need. You know, I, I started to see how they were building her, and as soon as I started doing my research, watching her in the courtroom and all the footage of the trials, but also all these interviews, you know, people described her as, mm -hmm. as a force and, and wild energy that can change the room, and I think that when she comes in with the boys um, that I think we could see in, in the real story and also in this story that I think she was in some ways the first person that they trusted and mm -hmm. felt safe with. And because of that, their truth was able to be shared. Because you, bec you become like, like her mom. Yeah. Like, like in some point they trust you so much. And I think because that energy, that yeah. energy that the character brings, and there's a beautiful scene for me, it's the apology between your two characters. When you mm -hmm. apologize to Nathan's character because something happened in the past. Mm -hmm. Do you think your character ever made the peace, the needs to, to move on? Because when you narrated how this person killed your son, your daughter, it, it broke my heart because I have a daughter. So it broke my heart. And then the apology, that beautiful scene for me is like the, the closing of, of that cycle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I um, you know, I don't think they ever had that moment. <laughs> no, it, I know, probably you know, it's, it's fictional. But I, they, they avoided each other as much as they, occasionally they might pass each other in the <laughs> hallway. And he would say, hey, Leslie, <laughs> I said nice <laughs> things about you last night on Larry King. Um, and she would ignore him. Or she would <laughs> call him. She used to call him, oh, well, you know, she used to call him a closet queen. and uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, she, she did not hold back. So, um, yes, I think that's a beautiful scene. I mean, he, um, uh, that episode is uh, obviously was, was a, a lovely thing for me as an actor. And that scene in particular, um, you know, when he apologizes and says, uh, I... I, I, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I believed him in term, talking yeah. about uh, Lyle, uh, I guess. There are these two points of view, and, yeah. you know, Leslie's 
belief in the justice system and the unfairness of the justice system being biased against defendants is true and real and Dominic's view of the justice system being unfair and biased and against victims is true. You know, like both points of view you totally understand yeah. and hold. So to have this moment where they're acknowledging each other. Well, she is, she's sort of, you know, that's the lovely thing is that when she says, I'm sorry about what happened to your daughter. Although he, even though he apologizes, he can't quite like a, <laughs> let it go. Yeah. He says, and, you know, I believed him, which means, you know, one of two things. Either they, these two boys experienced some of the worst abuse imaginable, or you were able to coach that performance out of a lying, murderous psychopath. It's worse. And I don't know which, which scares me more. It's, like, <laughs> so, it's, sort of, it's sort of an apology and also like, but, you know. It could it could be the other thing. That's why I say it's, it's beautiful that you two are together. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so you much. Very thank much. you so much.